Bath County Station is located in Western Virginia in Bath County in the Allegheny Mountains close to the border of West Virginia. Bath County is a pump storage hydroelectric station and it's owned 60% by Dominion Energy and the remainder is with uh, First Energy and LS Power. The pump station is unique in that uh, we store energy uh, off the grid. We are, uh, our fuel is electricity and uh, we have a uh, volume of water we call the power pool uh, that we pump to the upper reservoir and we utilize that during the daytime uh, to generate electricity. The FERC license was issued uh, to construct this facility in 1977. Construction commenced soon after that. At the height of construction we had uh, 3,400 contract employees building the two earth and rock filled dams and the power station and in 1985 the uh, station was declared commercial. Bath County represents uh, close to 13 percent of the pump storage capacity in the United States. As of 2021, Bath County was the largest pump storage hydroelectric station on earth. Bath County's total output capability is over 3,000 megawatts and to put that into perspective, that's enough energy to supply over 750,000 homes. When energy is needed, large valves open at the uh, powerhouse and it allows the water to flow from the upper reservoir through the large power tunnels in the mountain, which turns turbines, which are connected to very large generators, which produces electricity. That water then flows into the lower reservoir, and when energy is not in high demand, that process is reversed, and that water is then pumped from the lower reservoir back to the upper reservoir. A thousand feet into the mountain behind the station is 12 miles of very large tunnels that interconnect the lower reservoir to the upper reservoir. Bath County provides tremendous grid stability. We can have one unit online in about six minutes and we can have all six units online providing approximately 3,000 megawatts in less than 15 minutes. That is a tremendous asset for the system. We have daily inspections. From those inspections, we gather information so that we can schedule work during our planned outages and maintenance outages on the units. And through those inspections and replacing parts on the units, that makes us, us much more reliable to be able to generate when called upon by the system. The water here is pristine and we take great pride in the fact that the water that comes here through the station leaves just as clean as it entered the station property. There's about 99 acres here around the recreation area that's been switched to being managed for pollinators. We decided to implement the pollinator pots because it was just a more sustainable approach. Growing grasses, we allowed them to grow, to flower, and uh, actually spread different species so that there's a diversity here now for the pollinators. And we also see a lot of activity of birds and small mammals in these areas. The recreation area opened in 1989 and there's two ponds here on the recreation area. There's a pond that's 45 acres and another that's 27 acres. Uh, we work in coordination with the Department of Wildlife Resources to manage these ponds and keep track of the, the species, the amount of fish and also the health of the fish. Rec area has a beach area. There are 27 dry camp sites, a picnic pavilion and other picnic facilities. Healing Waters is a program where veterans and uh, wounded active service members are brought in, given the equipment and taught how to fly fish. Veterans that come here have said that they've found fly fishing therapeutic. Uh, there is a uh, guide for each one of the veterans and some of those actually came through the Healing Waters program and have made comments that the program actually helped to save their lives. We've got uh, a great group of employees here. Uh, the integrity is high and the teamwork is high and uh, pretty much everybody here at Bath County uh, is really committed to their jobs.